although a, a wonderful and, and far-reaching group of works, the Gross Folk Collection is distinguished by its sensitivity to Pennsylvania artists, to artists who lived and worked and, and studied and, and exhibited in Pennsylvania, uh, to artists that spent a significant period of their career in Pennsylvania, and to works with Pennsylvania subject matter generally. Uh, leading the way is this painting, Haystack by Charles Rosen from 1911, or as it was titled when it was first exhibited at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, The Farm Frosty Morning. And truly it's one of the most magnificent paintings that Rosen created during his New Hope period. Uh, here we see, as the title suggests, a large covered haystack dominating the right of the composition, a split rail fence, this handsome trio of sheep, farm buildings occupying the foreground and the middle distance. Uh, in the background, receding backward, uh, we have the rolling hills of southeastern Pennsylvania's Bucks County, where Rosen lived with his wife until about 1920 or so. Uh, but, you know, it's underscored by this strong sense of naturalism, not uncommon for Rosen's New Hope period, but the entire composition is imbued with this atmospheric, impressionistic, dreamlike haze. And even in the sky, we see these daubs of, of intersecting, interlocking color, uh, which give the surface almost like a tapestry-like appearance. Now, this period in this painting, uh, you know, so often underappreciated alongside his later New York years, represents a real opportunity for collectors. It was widely exhibited, it was well illustrated, and very well received in its lifetime, and Freeman's sale of September 20th represents its first ever appearance on the auction market. Right around the time Charles Rosen was leaving New Hope for upstate New York, another artist, Mary Elizabeth Price, was establishing herself, first and foremost, as a painter of decorative but virtuoso flowers, uh, as we see in white and pink poppies from 1932. Uh, but as beautiful as these paintings were, they're also technically accomplished. Uh, she commingles these bold oils, pinks, whites, lilacs, purple, with sources far and wide. Uh, she draws from the 15th and 16th centuries into the Italian Renaissance, and most particularly in the silver gold leaf that she employs as a background. But even closer to her own time, the contemporary arts and crafts movement in the painting's sort of flatness and decorative nature. Uh, it's a beautiful painting and quintessential in Mary Elizabeth Press. Not to be overlooked is this impressive landscape by William Langston Lathrop, one of the founding members of the New Hope School. And like the Charles Rosen uh, discussed previously, it's making its first ever appearance at auction. Uh, but this is Lathrop venturing beyond the confines of Bucks County, Pennsylvania. This is Lake George, New York. And though Impressionism, the style that Lathrop was most closely associated with, uh, often sort of ran counter to his natural tendencies as an artist, here he embraces it enthusiastically from these individualized green, emerald green daubs of paint that mark the hillside down to the water lilies that, that uh, mark the surface of Lake George. Uh, but you know, it's a simple painting, it's not overly complex, and simplicity is really what recommends a great painting by Lathrop. Uh, and here it's, it's the sky, it's the cloud, it's the hillside, it's Lake George, and very little else uh, to compete with our attention. They're there uh, to be admired and to be appreciated. Uh, these three paintings uh, by Charles Rosen, by Lathrop by Mary Elizabeth Price, and a whole host of others will be included in Freeman's September 20th auction of the estate of Angela Grossfolk.